Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the S Jitter Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion. And we are going to go ahead and add some shapes. So let's add a S rectangle. And we need an S render so we can see what's going on. And uh, let's look at our little shape here. So firstly, let's go ahead and uh, change our scale up. So let's make this a little smaller. 0 0.08. 0 0.08 and there we go we've got a little square and let's go ahead and add a grid so if you remember we uh, went over the grid the other day so s grid and we're going to go ahead and uh, create a grid with this and uh, let's change our color up so it's not so boring there we go and let's change our offset to say uh Point one and point one, and we're going to increase our number on the X and the Y. So now we've got a little grid. So if we don't want these so straight and so uh, perfect, we can use the S jitter node. So let's bring in the S jitter and input that after our grid. And what the S jitter node is going to allow you to do is to jitter up our squares so we've got two modes which is fixed and random so fixed is going to be specifically the numbers you put in and random is going to randomize the numbers and based off the max and the min you input for each offset so we're going to leave this on fixed for right now your random seed will randomize the seed and uh, to see what's happening here let's go ahead and go over these offsets so we can offset on the X in both directions. We can offset on the Y in both directions. And if we randomize, we can change the random order of those. And if we go to random, it's going to randomize even more based off these numbers we changed. And we can go to the shape X and Y size and we can change those. And if we go to random, it'll randomize those based off these shapes or based off these sizes. So then we can change the Y size if we want. And we can change the rotation. And that is going to rotate on the Z axis. And that is it. So down here, your point jitter, what this is going to do is going to jitter your actual shape up. So if I jitter on the X and the Y, you can see it's kind of skewing those. And if I go on the Y, it's skewing them on the Y. And we can random them up and we can rotate them. Now this point jitter is going to do different things for different shapes. So instead of our rectangle, say we had an S ellipse. And let's go ahead and bring that in and uh, let's uh, refresh our little jitter here. And Change the size. And if I go down here to our point jitter, you can see what it's doing to our ellipses. Instead of being even, it's going on each individual point around that axis. So it's gonna look different than it does for our little square. So if I zoom in, you can see what it's actually doing to that shape. It's jittering that shape. We can do a random seed to reseed that and it'll give you a different look. Now, mind you, this is extremely intensive on your CPU, so your computer may shut down while you're doing stuff like this. Additionally, if you plan on using this in a 3D environment, which I will show you, you really don't want to change this point jitter because it 
probably will definitely shut your computer down once you start doing that. So let's go ahead and reset all this. Let's replug our little rectangle in. And let's add some jitter. The X in the Y. And uh, let's select random instead of fixed. So we can randomize that. Let's randomize our rotation a little bit. So now let's go ahead and bring this into a 3D environment. So we're going to need a render. And remember to check your lighting and your shadows. We're gonna need a camera. We're gonna need a merge. And let's add an ambient light. And let's add an extrude 3D node. And we're going to go straight from our jitter into our extrude 3D node. And from our extrude 3D to our merge. And let's go ahead and move our little shape. So let's add a 3D transform. So transform 3D. And let's move it back on the Z a little bit. Let's double this up. So we can see all of our shapes. And let's go ahead and add a spotlight. So we can shed a little light on our uh, shapes there. Let's bring it up. We're gonna rotate it down. There we go. Let's go to our extrude node and let's extrude some of these uh, shapes out. So we've got little squares going on. And you can go back to your jitter, change up your rotation, change up this rotation. But mind you, it's only going to change your rotation on the Z. So if we want to change the rotation on the other axis, we could either go to our extrude 3D and rotate them on the Y or the X, or you can use your transform 3D to rotate on the Y. And then still have the ability to uh, randomize your rotation within your jitter node on that Z axis. So that is the S jitter node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.